All right, we're going to actually start with some dead bugs on our back on the floor for our warm up. So grab your mat, weightless ones, really in our back. Arms and legs come up into the air, off of the arm and leg go towards the floor, then come back to center, and then you switch sides. Try to press that low back into the floor. Just trying to warm up the muscle we will use today. Good, nice and controlled. Three more sets. Two more sets. And one more set. All right, we're gonna stand it up when you're done with those. Nice and easy. We're gonna do a, it's a squat leg lift with jumping jack arms. Squat other side leg lift with jumping jack arms, okay? One side, and then the other, like this. Okay. Nice control, thinking about squat form as we sit back. Let's do one more set. Finish that other side. All right, stand up. We move laterally. We're going to go one, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. You can add a little bit of a jog, shuffle, whatever you're feeling. You can also just march it. Get going. Side to side. Two more sets. One more set. All right, pause right here. Alternating reverse lunge with arms, okay? We pull the arms down, press them up, lunge one side, and then the other. Two more sets here. One more set. Good. All right. Lateral one, two, three, knee. Okay. So one, two, three, knee. And back. A little bit of a shuffle or a march, side to side. Reach that knee. Two more sets, and one more set. All right, march your job right here. All right, so our first move today is going to be a squat plus a tricep extension at the top. So our feet will be hip width apart, 
Weight will be right here at our chest. We'll squat, extend up, tricep extension, squat, extend up, tricep extension, okay? You can grab two dumbbells or hold one in between your hands. Whatever you're feeling today. Let's see what I'm feeling. All right, here we go. So squat, then up, tricep. Good. We'll do 10 here. Keep breathing. Halfway there, five more. Good, stand nice and tall. I've got two more here. And one more. All right, when you're done with those, we're gonna be switching our weights out. We're gonna be grabbing our weights for our reverse curls. So, regular bicep curls, palms are facing forward. We're gonna turn ours back, okay? It's the T-Rex arms one, so it's a little motion right there. Stand nice and tall, we'll do 10 of these, here. okay? Hold those shoulders back. Curl up and down. Watch your wrists. You want to make sure they're nice and strong. If they're not curling, you want the biceps to curl, not the wrists. Good. Keep it going. Three. Do three more if you can. Two. And one. Good. So seesaw rows are up next. It's just like alternating rows that are kind of pulling on each other. So, grab my weights for that. We're standing tall, we hinge forward, and one arm pulls up, and if this one starts going down, this one pulls up, okay? So one, then the other. Stand tall, hinge forward, here we go. Pull and pull for 10. Breathe. And halfway. Got one more set. When you finish your 10, you can stand up. So our next one is going to be a lunge with an overhead press. We're only doing one arm at a time. So grab one weight for an overhead press, and let me show you the full move. So I start with that arm overhead, okay? And then I'm gonna go into a reverse lunge with the opposite side leg right there. Come back to center, switch at the top. Reverse lunge, back to center, switch at the top, okay? All right, you got it? Here we go. Reverse lunge, stand tall and switch hands. Reverse lunge, stand tall and switch hands. Good. So that's a set of two. And 10 each side. As far as balance, if it helps you to stick that other arm out to the side, feel free to. Stand tall, nice big step back. Good. Halfway. Keep it going. I've got two more sets. This 
my final set. When you're done with your 10, you can stand up. And we start talking about our next one. So, we're going to grab like, some lighter weights for this one. This is the one I call a standing balance dead bug. So, got my lighter weight. We can use no weights at all. I balance on one foot while the opposite arm comes up. Come to the center. Balance here. Okay? So it's a little bit like an overhead press, too. If you want, you're welcome to circle it forward instead of pressing up to the center. That's a little harder, okay? I'm going to see if I can do that one. So opposite arm, opposite leg, okay? Knee comes up, arm overhead. Knee comes up, arm overhead. That's a set of one. Keep it going. Good. Slow it down as much as you need to to get that balance. In here. I've got two more sets. One more set. All right. When you're done with those, we're going to be coming to the floor for our next couple of, well, next two exercises. The first exercise is going to be a dumbbell pullover. I'm going to bring one heavier dumbbell with me. Okay. I'm going to hold it in between both my hands. We're going to come down and lay on our backs. Our knees are bent, feet are on the floor. The weight comes up like you just finished a chest press. Press that low back into the floor. Bend the elbows a little bit. Dumbbell comes overhead. We pull it back up to the top. That's one rep. All right, here we go. We're going to go for 10. Overhead, pull it up to the top. And remember, press that low back into the floor. Keep it going over halfway there. Two more. Done with your pullovers. You can set the weight to the side. All right, the next one doesn't require any weight, but we're staying down for it. We're going to be doing a reverse plank. We're going to do that plank three times, 10 seconds each, okay? So it'll be a total of 30 seconds. What this does is it really forces us to focus on our form such a short period of time. So two ways you can do it. One is on those forearms, especially if your wrists are sore, and you just lift up here, squeezing glutes all the way up. The second way is to extend here. That one's a little harder, but it gives you a bigger range of motion. So we'll do 10 seconds, come down, take one breath, up again, 10 seconds, one breath down, up again, final 10 seconds. All right? All right, we'll go in three, two, one. Lift up and hold. Good. Make that nice straight line. Squeeze the glutes, activate the abs. Hold, hold, hold for three, two, one. Come down. Bring it back up, hold. Good, stretch my back. Hold, hold, hold. Three, sorry, three, two, one. Come down. Somewhere between 
between the bottom of the chest and the belly button, okay? Straight out. Grabbing one weight. Come into that part of the squat, knees bent, okay? Press out and in. I count for one. Good. Legs in control. Use the core. Good. Two more. And one more. Good. All right. Next one. We're using dumbbells, but mostly just as a marker. Let me show you what we're doing. I'm going to set them outside in my feet. You can set them a little bit in front of you, because what we're going to do is we're going to jump over the top and back. So if that freaks you out, step behind them, and you can pretend to jump over and out. We're going to come down to the ground, do a push-up, and then pop back up. So it's a little bit like a burpee. I'm just guys it. It's a burpee. And uh, so things that you can do. If your wrists are bugging you, you can actually use these dumbbells to help you stabilize that push-up a little bit. If not, feel free to not use them. But we'll go out, in, down and out, push-up, back up. Feel free to walk it out. Feel free to drop to the knees for those push-ups, okay? Do what you need to. We get a longer rest after this, so feel free to take your time, all right? Let's see if you can do 10. Got it? Okay, here we go. Go out, in, down and out. When you finish, you get a break. You're still going. Keep it going. I'm going to grab some water. I'm going to bring my heart rate down a little bit before we get started. So breathe. Just breathe. Then you do your regular bicep curls. 
Palms are facing backwards. We're going to do our T-Rex arms, okay? Up and down. Try and keep those elbows close-ish to the body, okay? But don't anchor. You're going to anchor those elbows on your body. Keep it going. Halfway there. Got two more. And one more. Woo! All right. Seesaw rows are up next. So one arm rows as the other one comes down. The other one starts pulling. Okay? Like that. Stand tall. In forward. Row one side. Then the other. Good. Halfway. I've got one more set. When you've done your 10, you can stand up, put these weights aside. The lunge with the one arm overhead press hold. So hold to do the lunge, we switch at the top. Okay? Extend the arm up overhead, lunge back at the top, switch to the other side. Okay? Keep it going. Woo. Okay, there we go. Almost messed myself up. Watch the balance. Halfway there. That's a raise, nice and strong. We've got two more sets. One more set. Stand up and bring that arm down. All right. Lighter weights or no weights? So that's standing, dead bug, okay? So watch the balance. Swing through one side and then the other. Good. Opposite arm, opposite knee. One more set. Good. When you're done with those, we're going to set these aside. The next two are on the floor. First one is the dumbbell pullover. The second one is the reverse planks. Okay? You're going to bring one heavy dumbbell. Two more. 
one more. Good. When you're done with that, the dumbbell can go to the side. So those three 10 second reverse planks, either on the forearms or extended up, really focusing on form for those 10 seconds. All right, let's go in three, two, one. Lift, squeeze the glutes, activate the abs, activate the back. Hold, hold, hold for three. Two, one, come down, quick breath, push back up, hold. Three, three, two, one, come down, quick breath, press back up, good, hold. Final one, nice straight line. For three, two, one, come down, good. Nice job, everybody. So we're gonna stand up, pal up, press. So weight here, pressing forward and in from a squat position. You decide how much of a squat this is. Partial, big, whatever you'd like to do. One weight here, bend, press it out and in, good. Out and in, keep going. Five more. Three. Two. And one. When you're done with your ten, you can stand it up. We finish the circuit. This will be our second to last time. With that jump in and out, push up at the bottom, okay? Push up can be on knees or toes. You can just step these out if you don't feel like jumping. Make it yours. See if you can do 10. All right? Here we go. Up, in. Keep it going. You've done your 10. Do a little rest. Feel free to grab a sip of water. But keep moving. Shake it out. Got one final time. Do all of that. So we start. Squat and overhead tricep extension. Okay? I'm going to go find my weight for my overhead tricep extension. Final set though. Okay? Final set of everything. Let's bring that to chest. Sit back in that squat. Sit overhead, right side. There's a lot of overhead presses stuck into this workout. You may notice that now. You may notice that later. Two more. 
more. When you've done your 10, you can set the weights aside. We're grabbing weights for reverse curls next. Okay. T-Rex arms. Third round, we're up higher. Extra bonus points for uh, bar roaring. Like a T-Rex, okay? Or are we all just throwing it? No, I'm tired. It's so hard to know. Or because it's true. Keep it going. We've got three more. your weight, one arm, and then the other on those rows. Watch the back, make sure it's nice and strong and activated, row and row. Deep breathing. I've got two more sets. And one more set. You've done your 10. You can stand up. Set the weights aside. One weight for that overhead press hold. Okay? So we're switching to the top, doing alternating lunges. Tell your arms they can do this. Okay, here we go. Reverse lunge. Switch at the top. Reverse lunge. Up. Keep it going. Watch your balance, especially since you're getting tired. more sets. I've got one more set. You're still going, hang in there. When you're done, that way you can go to the side. Get ready because this is another like sneaky overhead press. It's the dead bugs. Standing ones, over here and here, okay? I'm going to grab a little bit lighter weight. Focus on that balance, okay? Opposite arm, opposite knee, and switch. Good. That's right. I'm halfway through mine. Tell the shoulders to hang in there. I've got two more sets. One more set. When you're done with yours, Weights can go to the side. Coming down to the floor. Dumbbell pullover, and then the three 10 second reverse planks. Okay? I'm gonna grab one heavy dumbbell for my pullovers. Come to the floor, press that low back, arms come over the head. Overhead and back up. Keep it going. Keep breathing. I've got four. 
Four more. Got two more. One more. When you're done with your ten, that way you can go to the side. So, reverse planks for 10 seconds at a time, three of them are up next. Get in position. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, lift, squeeze the glutes, activate the abs, activate the back, make it straight to the line as possible. Good. For three, two, one, come down. With breath, breath back up, hold. Three, two, one. Come down. Last one. Here we go. Lift up. Please, please, please. Activate. Three, two, one. Come down. Good. All right. Standing up. Two more exercises in the circuit. Hellock press. And then the final one is that fun push up for a few one. So one weight for the palos, pressing out, bringing it in. Come into a partial or a full squat, press out and in, out and in. We're using our whole body to stay here while only the arms move. one dumbbell with me. What I'm going to do with this dumbbell is I'm going to take it from one hand to the other. So I stick it here outside of my hands. You can also bring it wherever. Um, but I grab it, take it around to the outside of that hand, grab it, take it around to the outside. So switching sides, switching sides. You can do that on the knees too. So I bring it you know, to the outside of my right hand, outside of my left hand. That's one rep. One for ten. All right, here we go. Pull it around and around. Try to have minimal movement from the rest of the body as you do this. 
10 sets. And keep going until you do get to 10. Three more. When you're done with yours, you come to Sphinx Pose and press up. If you need a little bit more of a stretch, get your drop in the shoulders. Good. through the back, through the shoulders, inch those fingers forward.
just relax here. Let's come up and thread through the other side. Take that arm through. Lean as much or as little into it. It feels good. come back to center. Let's press up into down dog. So I tuck my toes, press my hips up and back. Let's pedal those feet. Pressing one heel towards the floor and then the other. Press both those feet towards the floor. Straighten up, let's bend this front knee. Go into that quad stretch. Remember, you can do a standing one if this is too uncomfortable. And if it's good, just to try stretching from different methods. You may find you like one more than another. Maybe one gets a deeper stretch than another one. But if you hate it, there's always another alternative. this 
knee back to center, take this leg to the floor. Bend that other knee, hug it up towards the armpit. I'm going to circle my ankle for just a few seconds. Good. Now take that opposite hand, grab that knee, gently pull across the body. Opposite arm blades out to the side, anchoring us to the ground. Bring this knee back to center, hold this knee here. Bring that other knee up. I'm going to hug my knees nice and wide. I like a rocking motion, so I'm going to add that. We're going to do figure four. Release the knees, cross an ankle over the opposite side, thread those hands through, grab the bottom leg, and gently pull. Bring both feet to the floor. We're going to set ourselves up. Gently do so. All right. Find a comfortable place to sit. We're going to plant one hand. Reach up and over. Stretching through that side, through that arm. All right. We're going to sit up. And we're going to take the top of the fingers and we're going to gently pull. Getting a stretch through here. That upper shoulder and neck. All right, bring this hand to the floor. Reach up and over with that other arm. And as we sit up, grab the head with those fingers and gently pull.